And this is the second video about my two degrees of freedom robotic arm. So in this video, I'm gonna explain how I program it and also show you there is some results of the light paintings. So I made slight modification to this uh, robotic arm. So I installed LED and also I installed this small arrow which shows me the home position of this arm. Like this, Arduino knows where the robotic arm is in, the, in the initial position and it should work. I hope. Maybe. And now a little bit of theory. So this is schematics of this robot. This black line is this part of the threaded road. This black line is this part of the threaded road. Uh, this is one motor, this is another motor, this is a pivot point in the joint and the blue dot is our LED. So this is equations. The first uh, set of equations they give you the length of each threaded road as a function of x and y, where x and y is the position of LED. And this is the inverse uh, of this one, so it gives you the position of the LED as a function of the threaded road. And this is gonna be used to precisely calculate the trajectory of the end effector. When we need to move the end effector from one point to another point, we don't move it with a constant speed. We move it first of all with acceleration, afterwards with a constant speed and afterwards with deceleration. So the distance along this trajectory looks something like this. So this is the time. At the beginning there is acceleration. Afterwards there is a constant speed. And afterwards there is deceleration. And like this we reach the end position at some time. So at acceleration phase we have acceleration A. And uh, this trajectory is proportional to the a t square over 2. Here we have the constant speed, uh, so v max. And trajectory is proportional to the v max t. And this one is proportional again to the minus a t square over 2. And all these big equations are programmed inside this small Arduino. First program which I uploaded, draw square. So it goes up, forward, down, backward. Now, as you can see, it goes exactly at home position where it was before. And now I'm gonna make light trail video. First, I used fading trail settings just to see how it works. And now, real light painting. Whoa. As you saw, this was a really perfect square. So now we're gonna draw several squares.
And now I can precisely control my robot. So in the next video, I'm going to do some useful stuff with it.